And welcome back to the WHHI Daily News. Heather Rath has joined us here in January with so much going on. Actually, yesterday was with the Iowa caucuses. caucuses and yes. how did Haley do? And let's hey, jump, dive yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. Haley did, was very strong showing. Uh, she finished third mm -hmm. um, uh, by less than two points, right? So she's looking really good going into New Hampshire, which is not nearly as conservative as Iowa. Um, and Ron DeSantis actually left Iowa and came straight here. Yeah last night. So he's not skipping over New Hampshire, but he's definitely going right for South Carolina. So New Hampshire is January 23rd and then February 24th. My birthday. Well, I know. Who <laughs> <We> knew? <laughs> Happy birthday early. Yeah, yeah. Is so, the big South Carolina. Yeah. Primary. So we're looking at the next month, just really dogged South Carolina. We're going to see everybody, Trump, DeSantis, and Haley. Um, Vivek um, is mm -hmm. out. Out. Right. So yep. now we're looking at the three top yep. contenders. All right. So let's talk about the legislative session in the state of South Carolina yes. last week. Yes. Opened up last week with a bang. So I have a lot of updates and it's really amazing. You know, Tom Davis always talks about how much pull we have mm -hmm. up at the state house and mm -hmm. how our delegation really has some great um, chairmanships. Well, let me tell you, last week it showed. We had Weston Newton, chair of judiciary, mm -hmm. who's introduced a bill um, on protecting children on social media. There's going to be an Alan Wilson came and he testified at it. There's going to be a lot of changes to this bill, but basically it's ensuring that children are protected Good. on social media sites. So that's coming out right. very, very strong. Jeff Bradley is chairing the ad hoc committee on artificial intelligence. This is, whoa. Huge. Huge. Their <laughs> first committee meeting, wow. the folks that were testifying, brilliant people. So again, all of this okay. is available on the South Carolina State House website, as you're aware. But um, that was really strong. And then, of course, Tom Davis, straight out of the gate with labor, commerce, and industry. He chairs that committee, went after payday lenders. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't realize that we have no caps on payday lending in the state of South Carolina. Yeah, explain that. What do you mean? Sure. So you payday lending, right? You yeah. go and you, you get a quick loan, right? Yeah. Whether it's for $2,000. $14,000, $30,000. There's no caps on the interest rates. So some of these folks are being charged anywhere from 300 to 800%, whereas other states, such as North Carolina or Georgia, you know, have caps, mm -hmm. reasonable caps at 130% or whatever. So, I mean, oh, wow. listen, it is, it is a big, big issue in South Carolina, and Tom Davis is hitting it head on. Um, a couple of other things that I'm watching that I'm really interested in, um, some stuff happening with SC Housing with mm -hmm. a new um, executive director there and then also alcohol alcohol with delivery Sunday alcohol sales selling liquor bottles um, so it, the alcohol delivery so you could get it through DoorDash or, right. or yeah. you know, that bill is progressing but also there is an interesting movement afoot to have Sunday alcohol sales and if the county wants it much like we did the mini bottle, right. you do a referendum, and if the county wants it, then the county is able to implement it. Right. So it's a county by county referendum um, style implementation on that bill. Um, and then, of course, this week, I'm actually leaving here and heading to Columbia because we are looking at tort reform um, in order to save some of these South Carolina venues that are having to go mm -hmm. out of business because they're open after a certain hour. They have to carry $1 million liability insurance, mm -hmm. and um, they're getting sued over and over again. So it's just there's a lot going on. Right. And for fun... This weekend is Charlie Fest. Yes, we have to, <laughs> we have to talk about Charlie well, Fest. Well, before we get to Charlie Fest, I do <laughs> want to talk about the Finance and Administrative Committee okay. at the town of Hilton Head Island. Okay. Uh, bringing it down to a local level, they have approved an MOU and also some funding for both Habitat for Humanity and the community, Coastal Community Development Corporation for Housing for Islanders, which is so important. And then also the Public Planning Committee, mm -hmm. uh, chaired by David Ames, is looking at putting some restrictions on how big you can build your house and so on and so forth in some areas. Right. So that is one to watch. That's one to watch as and well as Charlie Fest, which Charlie is going to be at Coligny this weekend yes. on Saturday, yes. the 20th. Yeah, so we have food from multiple vendors out there. Everybody's serving up sliders. It's going to be a great community event. Mm -hmm music from local musicians. Um, everybody volunteers their time. It's just a lovely event to come out and be with the community. Right. Well, you've got a lot on your plate, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time to come visit with us before you head to the state capitol. Absolutely. Thank you, Heather Rath with Heather Rath Consulting, and we'll be right back with more news. Don't go away, everyone.